don't know what this means. Stan is probably Eminem's uh, greatest record, right? Arguably, hands down, probably Eminem, Eminem's greatest record, right? The song is about a fan. It's where we get the word Stan from, right? Anybody got any stands in here? I got a couple stands. I, got, I have a lot. I have a lot. I'm a stan of you. Yeah, I do. Likewise. I appreciate that. There's a stan reciprocity going on right here. A lot of stan, Hey, stand by me. Um, the song is about a fan who writes Eminem a letter. And he's writing this letter. Dear Marshall, right? He writes a letter in the first verse. Then he goes and he writes a letter in the third verse. And the second verse, I apologize, right? Writes another letter to Eminem. This one's a little bit more kind of aggressive, you know, a little bit more, you know, you owe me something type vibe. He does the third verse. Third verse isn't a letter, per se. It's a recording. And this Stan, this fan of Eminem, He's recording himself kidnapping, in true Eminem fashion, this guy, um, his, uh, his girlfriend, and doing this weird kind of murder-suicide plot. And he's recording this thing to Eminem. And then at the end of the verse, of that third verse, he comes to the realization, like, oh, we're going to drive this car over this bridge. He's like, oh, shit, how am I going to send this out? Right? But that's not the plot twist, is it? For, for the stands of Eminem who know, right? That's not the plot twist. But that's great. He could have stopped right there. But there's a fourth verse, right? Kind of breaks this two, this one, one, two structure, this, this uh, three, this trifecta, this tricolon. It's like one, one, then the twist. He does one, one, one twist. And the twist is, Eminem finally receives the letter from the first verse, right? And he sits down to respond to it. And he says, dear Stan, I appreciate that you got all my records, right? I'm sorry I couldn't get back to you. I was on tour. Hey, man, I hear you going through a lot. Hey, just you know, chill out. You'll be all right. And then Eminem. As he gets toward the end of the verse, he said, you know, sometimes people do crazy things. Like there was this guy who got upset, and he took his car with his girlfriend, and, his, and he drove it off a bridge into the water. And, it was, and Eminem has the epiphany, like, oh, shit. It was you. Right? The layering and the complexity, right, of how he worked, right, that repetition break Repetition, plot, break, structure, right? Masterful, right? Taking a very simple concept that we all learned when we were kids, because we all knew chinny, chin, chin, right? So it's very, very simple macros, right, that we all can process and all have been um, privy to. But then how do we turn around and use that? in our work as rappers, right? Very basic things. Instead of trying to do a bunch of details, right? A bunch of word flips and name flips and multiple syllable, blah, 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 blah. Am I rapping and tapping and hitting again? And right, right? OK, that's cool, right? But why don't, can you master these basic things? And then the argument becomes, Stan is one of the highest selling records of all time in any genre of music, right? To the point where the name of the song entered into common vernacular. The power of rap, right? On par, right? On par, culturally, with E, and e equals MC squared, right? On par, right? and other kind of catchphrases from different fields, science, social sciences, archaeology, whatever you want, history, right? Stan is right there. <laughs>